Hi everyone, my name is Grace and I'm a Senior Product Manager here at Gretel. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating our new Workflow Builder functionality in order to generate a privacy-first synthetic data set using Gretel workflows. Gretel is the synthetic data platform purposefully built for generative AI. Here at Gretel, we believe that better data makes for better models, which is why we help you generate artificial synthetic data sets with the same characteristics as real data, so you can improve AI models without compromising on privacy. So what's new with Gretel workflows? We've introduced a new workflow builder. This powerful new feature simplifies the creation of complex data workflows with an intuitive visual interface in the Gretel console. This means that you have the ability to chain together multiple models and configure data pipelines without needing to manually edit YAML. The new workflow builder makes the entire process of creating Gretel workflows easier. To demonstrate how workflow builder can be used, I'm going to walk through a common example in the financial sector. We're going to be using the workflow builder to generate a privacy preserving financial synthetic data set used for analysis and to train better AI models. Our goal is to create a data set that protects customer privacy by anonymizing sensitive information that doubles the size of the original data set, providing more training data for machine learning models and maintains the statistical properties and relationships within the data. Now I'm going to switch over to the Gretel console so we can walk through this use case together. To use the Gretel Workflow Builder, we're first going to navigate to our Workflows tab. Next, we will click New Workflow, select our project, and name our workflow. I'm going to select my project called Financial Transactions, and I will name my workflow Transform Synthesize Customer Transactions. First, we're going to define our input data. With workflows, you can connect directly to your data source with any of our Gretel connectors. Today, I'm going to connect to an, my S3 bucket called Customer Financial Transactions. This bucket has a file in it called Customer Transactions. This data set contains information, including the customer's first and last name, their IBAN number, transaction amounts, um, and transaction memos, including free text describing what the transaction was for. Now that I've defined my input data location, I'm gonna click save, and we will move on to selecting our model. For this use case, we really want to focus on privacy. And one great way to do that with Gretel is to transform our data before we synthesize it. I'm going to select our Transform V2 model. This is our latest transformer model that is designed to redact PII and offers enhanced flexibility and power in data anonymization and modification. Next, I'm gonna add a second model. For this use case, we want to double the size of the input data set, which is roughly 9,000 records. We're doing this in order to create more high quality data in order to train a financial AI model. I'm going to select our Navigator fine tuning model, which is our cutting edge synthetic data model that leverages AI techniques to generate high quality data and captures complex relationships and distributions within that data. Navigator fine tuning can handle various data types, including numerical, categorical, and free text data. The data set that we are synthesizing today has all of those data types, which is why I'm choosing this model. We will adjust how many records to generate to be 18,000, which is roughly double the size of our input data. 
Next, we are going to choose where to store our output data. I am going to store my output data in the same bucket that I'm using for my input, customer financial transactions, but within a path called Gretel so that I know where the generation came from. Finally, I'm going to set up a trigger for my workflow. You can run a workflow manually or you can schedule it to run on a recurring basis. That schedule could be daily, weekly, monthly, or you could do a custom schedule using a cron, cron string. For this use case, I'm going to select weekly because my customer transaction data set is updated weekly. Scheduling your Gretel workflow ensures that your synthetic data always reflects the most recent trends and patterns in your actual financial data. Regular updates to your synthetic data set means that data scientists, analysts, and other stakeholders always have access to current privacy compliant data for their models, reports, and other applications. Automation also reduces manual overhead and the risk of working with outdated data, improving overall efficiency and decision-making processes. This automated approach to synthetic data generation exemplifies how Gretel workflows and the workflow builder can streamline operations and maintain data currency with minimal human intervention. So before we create our workflow, I wanna show you the advanced tab. You might be familiar with Gretel's YAML workflow configurations. The YAML workflow config looks something like this. YAML can be intimidating, which is why the workflow builder automatically generates this YAML config for me so that I can create my workflow without having to edit anything here. Having the advanced tab in the workflow builder also gives me the flexibility to edit the YAML myself if I wanna make more advanced configurations. For now, we'll switch back to the recommended tab, our tile view, and click create workflow. I've scheduled this workflow to run on a weekly basis so no runs have happened yet. In order to demonstrate the end-to-end -end experience, I'm gonna to choose to run my workflow now so that we can take a look at the output data. As the workflow kicks off, we will see each action in the workflow appear here for this workflow, we will see an S3 read action, two model train run actions, and then an S3 write action. To save time, let's check in once this workflow has completed running. Now that our workflow run is complete, let's switch over to our S3 bucket to confirm that the data was written as expected, and then we'll take a look at the output data. Here we can see the customer transaction file that we used as our input data. And if I click the Gretel folder, I will see the output of my workflow, which is the transformed and synthesized data. As we saw, the generated data has been written to our S3 bucket, but I wanted to show you a preview of our input data set and the generated data set so that we can compare. This is our input data set, which has names, financial codes, transaction IDs, dates, amounts, currency, transaction type, and a description of the transaction. If we switch over to the generated data, we'll see that it looks a lot like the input data, but our names have been transformed, the financial codes have been transformed, and when we synthesized it using NavFT, we've created twice the amount of data while maintaining the same statistical correlations as our input data. You'll also notice that NavFT did a great job creating synthetic descriptions that are logical for financial transactions. These also match very well to the initial descriptions in our input data without outright copying any values. The new Gretel Workflow Builder represents a significant leap forward in making synthetic data generation accessible and efficient. 
With Gretl workflows, you can integrate synthetic data directly into your data pipeline. Gretl connectors process input and output data from your data sources. You can use schedules to automate synthetic data generation. And as we've shown today, you have the ability to create complex workflows with multiple models. Gretl workflows ensure that you always have the data you need, when you need it, and where you need it. And as we've covered, better data means better models.